in the next one minute. Can you just share your testimony? Let us hear. Right. He said he cannot pass in front of his brother. He loved the last point because he branched. Yes, so I didn't know it was because of me he branched. So yeah. when he branched, I was ministry, suddenly he came to me and said, God is about to lift you, but be humble. That was the meeting he said, and he prayed for me. Then I could not afford the passport. I was like, I keep hearing, even, even that same day, the man of God promised to take me in Europe that day, but I never had a passport. So that's not bad. So just go away that day. So when he spoke to me, I, I believed it. There was something in my mind told me, yes, this is a confirmation. I believe it so strongly. Lo and behold, a man came from nowhere, a man of God, asked me that I'll be ministering in Kenya. I said, I don't have a passport. He took me to the first staff immigration office, paid for passport, fast track it. He fast track it. He fast track it with 5,000. I got a minimum price. I got a minimum price. Then I will, I will receive my passport in October. Then I will go to Kenya in November. So I will share the testimony with you yesterday. It's as I was with you. Yes, sir. Nobody was hearing his voice. Yes, sir. I went to preach for my Baba, Baba Midele. Yes, sir. And I was driving. I told my daughter, I said, No, oh. I can't pass the church of my brother, Prophet Godwin Orobosen, yes, the apostle of fire. Hey. I can't pass his church and he's doing VG and pretend I did not see him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, I was not trained like that. Yes, and I told my driver, my brother, I said, Reverse the cars. Yes, we went to the compound. Remember, I got the chocolate, they were, were shocked, they were screaming. And he said, I'm not going to say, I cannot pass your front gate yes, without entering your church. Yes, so let me just bless your people. And he, he humbly gave me the microphone, and I stood on the altar, and the antenna went straight to this young man, yes, sir. where he was singing. Yes, sir. And I said to him, God is about to lift you, my son. Be humble. Be what? Humble. Be what? Humble. humble. I said, What? God is about to lift you. Be humble. Because most singers are not humble. And I lay hand on his head. I pray for him. He has been going to places to sing. He has been meeting prophet and men of God. The day you meet your prophet, that will change you. Everyone has a prophet. Immediately the word came out and the hand was laid. The demon that were holding him for traveling all over the world lose their grip and hold. From nowhere, a man, can you not have passport? Don't worry, it becomes my, my problem. He yes, goes asleep, let me carry the body. Mm. The men that will be carrying your body Jesus. in this month of October, if you start the men, they will locate you. Hey! Hey! When he spoke to me, you said you were in Shaka, have you? Yes, no, Jebode. Jebode, that he went to minister somewhere at the Jebode. I said, okay, anytime you are around, try and see me. <laughs> He left the Jebel. He did not finish his administration. And I was shocked when I saw him. He said, ah, this guy, you said you were in Jebel. Now you are here. Amen? Amen. And I'm going to pray another prayer for you. Amen. I am not a prophet of God. Yes, sir. In truth, I am a prophet sent to this generation. Jesus. As you fly to Kenya to minister, uh -huh. somebody will take your passport from there and do Europe talk for you. Amen. From Germany to France to yes, Spain sir. to Italy, yes, you will come and the whole show. As you depart from Europe, you are entering America. Yes, so today you become busy. Yes, Amen. 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 A grace to be busy for God internationally. Amen. Amen. And you that Saturday may receive the grace. Amen. Amen. Pastor that. Yes, sir.